Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, thank you. If you're returning, thank you again. You guys, go ahead and subscribe to YouTube channel, Divine Vibe. <laughs> Notification bell, like, share. Alright, especially like if it resonates, share if it resonates, comment if it resonates. Alright, you guys can book your full reading with me for $25 or a mini reading for $15 if you're interested at this time. I strongly suggest it, especially if you're if you've been feeling stuck or if you've been needing answers. You know, reach out. <clears throat> also, you can check out my Instagram and yeah, go check out my YouTube. You guys go subscribe. I'm trying to reach a goal, so if you can support, go ahead. Hello, Boo. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> Hi, sister. <laughs> okay, yeah, you guys go subscribe. Okay, right, trying to reach goals. This is a live reading, so it may or may not resonate, okay? <laughs> you know, like, I pray you do, but not everything will. So you hear something and it resonates with you, alright? Rather than not, you guys. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, I hope everyone's okay out there. <sighs> Let's get started, y'all. I will be uploading my products later tonight so you can purchase if you want just inbox me all right I'll be uploading the pictures the price purchase right now I'm starting off with 30 to sell so if you're interested let me know thank you angels and sister spirit guys today for being here with us Getting a message for the collective, for the higher good. Give us things that we need to know, that we need to work on. Things that we need to see. Give us answers to guide us, to heal us. Give us truth, give us clarity, give us, yeah, give us guidance. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and start. Let's start with one card and I will clarify. Hi, I saw this a lot earlier. The Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is about, I feel like somebody's walking away from drama, from chaos, other people. This could be about your external environment, you know, people arguing, drama, whispering, talking, talking, gossiping, people putting their two cents where it don't belong, all right? <laughs> But we're done with that, all right? It could be family, it could be friends, it could be a partner. Hello, Tab, thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> thank you, everyone that's tuning in. <laughs> but yeah, we're in five, number five, it's about change. So yeah, we're walking away from conflict, drama, people who want, who want to, you know, who are negative, situations that are negative that no longer serves us. <clears throat> that's the overall energy. So if you've been in that, Maybe you're you're surrounded by chaos right now. You're like trying to get away. Some of you guys could be in your head as well. Wow. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Is this you? This you? <laughs> this is the person you're dealing with. I know I'm a Pisces. <laughs> um, King of Cups, masculine energy as well could be divine masculine or you're just in your masculine energy so some of you guys because of the situation you are in your energy of trying to be emotionally stable and grounded you want to handle things maturely you want things you know you don't you don't even want this drama anyway, so you're really not trying to entertain it, nor contribute to it so you're trying to make sure that your feelings are okay that you're grounded and you know regardless of you know things that is happening around you I believe like for some of you guys there's a lot happening around you and you're trying to um trying to stay emotionally centered. So not you know, not reacting out of anger, sadness, and pain, you know, really really trying to be sorry, let me turn off my hair. <laughs> really trying to be grounded, all right. We don't wanna I feel like we don't wanna cry. I feel like some of you guys may have cried a lot in the past. And like there's ten of wands, yeah, Aries Leo Sagittarius, there was a burden, okay? Like <laughs> like somebody had to learn like you didn't become the king of cups 
for nothing you had to learn all right so a learning how to control how you feel all right regardless of everything that's happening all right sagittarius energy at the bottom key of swords you're my libra aquarius some of you guys may not be in contact with somebody maybe you had to cut somebody out you have to communicate that well look at the bottom queen of cups so you, oh the and the queen of swords we got like couples here or like counterparts some of you guys may be counterparts. Wow. King of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. It, it could be like a group of you guys. Wow. King of Queen of Pentacles. No way. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but, you know, some things could have been toxic because I did see the devil pop up. But this could have been couples, you guys, relationships. All right. Yeah, this is definitely um, people. Hello, Adrian. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, you guys, wow, a lot of people around. Y'all gotta be careful who you keep as company, I feel like. The temperance, okay, this is more present energy, you guys, trying to heal yourself. Like, whatever the situation was, or these people, or this person that brung, um, I feel like confusion, too, like, it drives from confusions, you know, like, having to make choices, you know, getting stuck sometimes, I feel like, for some of you guys. But it's telling you to heal yourself, you know, go with the flow, be patient. Be patient for change to happen. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with, especially if somebody's not in contact for some of you guys, be patient for this person. If you're waiting for somebody to communicate. Whoa, that flipped right in my thing. Whoa, <laughs> Pisces. Some of you guys can be Pisces, the hangman. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Wow, somebody cut somebody off. Look, oh, wow, that was awesome. And it flipped right in here into my um selenite. Like, it's... Somebody is probably thinking about you, missing you, you guys. The hang man. So some, this situation was supposed to enlighten you. It was supposed to, again, change some type, type of way. So however you view something or however you usually react in a situation, it was, it was supposed to wake you up to change the way you operate. This is a spiritual awakening. This is a spiritual card, you guys. Like, again... Some of you guys may still be stuck or feel stuck or in the situation or with this person. Like, what do I do? Somebody might be like, what do I do? How do I do it? How do I walk away from things that no longer serve me to come more to into to come more into happiness? You guys, the universe, <laughs> I feel like the universe, God, your angels, your ancestors, like they're literally like some of you guys, your ideas, your thoughts. Like, some of you guys got your intuition. Some of you guys may find things out because you go search for it, but it's because you're, like, meant to, like. <laughs> and whatever hurts is supposed to heal you. It's supposed to help you grow. Whatever hurts is supposed to help you grow so you can walk into true happiness, okay? Whoa, Ten of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, stability, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Getting And then getting grounded with your money, okay? We're done feeling left out in the cold. I'll clarify with these tarot deck. <laughs> it's one of my love tarot deck. I, we just got. I did not clarify with another if I need to, but let's just clarify this this scenario. Some of you guys, it may or may not resonate. All right. Again, people around you, conflict. I'm trying to be emotionally stable or dealing with the King of Cups. For some of you guys, this is you or dealing with that energy. All right, trying to heal yourself, go a day at a time, being patient, and having a spiritual awakening, you guys, being enlightened to some truth and growing, all right, try to get out of feeling stuck in a place, like close that chapter and start a new one, clarify the five of swords, why do we have the five of swords here, clarify, <laughs> the high priestess, <laughs> The high priest is saying that you know. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you. So that means whatever, whoever you think about, you know who started drama or who was in it. <laughs> you know who it is, okay? Like, it's not hitting. Your intuition is speaking to you, 
Okay? So you got, your intuition is trying to guide you out of this situation. Your intuition is, is your angels, you guys. They're trying to guide you. They're here in your energy as well. So if you are not feeling so positive, they're trying to actually help heal you as well. And I'll clarify the high priestess. Because <laughs> the major arcana cards come out like this is like, oh my god. You know, but... You know, you know who these people are. Like, you get this feeling. They might come around you. They say something. It's like, like you, you, like, you know, okay? Don't doubt yourself. Like, you, I feel like you are not wrong. So you have every right to walk away. Yeah, somebody's highly intuitive. <laughs> in tune with themselves. And if you aren't, allow your intuition to guide you to walk away. I hope I didn't move that. Clarify the King of Cups. Why do we have the King of Cups here? Ugh, King of Cups got three cards. <laughs> oh, somebody's trying to come back around for the lucky and positive. <laughs> Optimistic. Somebody's trying to come back around. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire energy. Queen of Wands. Somebody else. This is not you, somebody else. <laughs> Again, other people. I'm not going to say third party, but if it fit, it fit. Somebody has to, like, try to make a decision. And um, somebody's coming back around. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either you are or you're dealing with this sign, you guys. Like, it came up twice. But I'm going to pull again. For, I'm being told to pull again, not to call that on the King of Cups. Somebody could have been involved. These two, or you're involved with this person. Somebody was attracted to somebody. Somebody picked somebody else and probably caused drama and chaos. Some of you guys, this probably, person probably was your soulmate. Why is the King of Cups here? It came back out. Wow. Wow. You know what? I got to take it. It's a story. It's a whole story, y'all. <sighs> Look who came back out. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sag. At the bottom, what? Two of Wands again. But this is the crazy part. Because we got another couple. <laughs> King and Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Cap um, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So with somebody in a... Okay, this... Y'all, this is about to get so deep. So forgive me how I'm about to... Cause, but you'll know if it resonates. Somebody could have been married and probably talking to other people. Somebody could have been in a relationship um, and then found somebody else. My divine masculine could have found somebody else. You guys, <laughs> whatever it is. And this is the best couple you can be because I did see the, the Six of Cups and then we get this. So that is a really good pair. This is being stable, grounded, you know, growing. You can build together. You can, you know, you're like your best friends first and then this relationship. We can have a kids. We can have a family. We can, we can conquer the world together. Okay. And I will clarify these because it's so many people in here. Hence why your overall energy. It's so many people right now. Okay. Especially this could be from the past too. A lot of people from your past. Older people. This is definitely older people, y'all. Older people are mature. You put it how it fit. If you're younger and you feel like you mature and you was dealing with other people like that, then yes. But this we we don't have no page. But something happened. The tower. So something fell apart in the midst of this drama. Something happened. Somebody, something came to light. Somebody, something was it. Ooh, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I just felt like a cold breeze hit my face. Because <laughs> I'm hot. And I felt that out of nowhere. <sighs> Something happened, you guys. Something big happened. Like, everything came crumbling down. People probably walked away. Somebody had to walk away. Whatever it is, it was disaster. And it needed to happen because something was not right. People were probably lying, um, cheating again. Something just was not right, you guys, with all these people. Like, it was just too many people involved. That's all I know. You guys, justice, karma. Was this a karmic cycle, people, situation? Did somebody have you? <laughs> Did somebody, there's no, there's no, like, some type of justice needed to be served. Some type of lesson needed to be learned here. All right, somebody, I feel like also somebody had to choose either their heart 
or this this drama. I don't know that may sound crazy, but if you love somebody and they're part of the drama, I mean they're drama. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like something was a karmic situation. I'll clarify these cards. There's so many. Could be dealing with legal matters too. Some of you guys could have been with business and there could have, oh yeah, could have go for work too, you guys, or your job. You, okay? Because I'm not going to just say as a relationship. It could also be that maybe you were doing your, your work, all right, trying to succeed and then, you know, other people around you um, was hating, okay? Trying to have you fall apart, you know? Trying to be, um, I guess, deceitful or sneaky, but whatever it is, you know, that didn't work out. It didn't. <laughs> All right. Trying to mess with you, your money, your stuff like that. No. People trying to bring you down, fighting, chaos, all that. No. All right. Justice came in and stepped in. Tower and the justice. So something was meant to happen. Um, then the chariot, cancer energy. Libra, cancer, moving forward. Moving forward. Some of you guys could have moved, could have traveled, um, however this resonates. Trying to get balance, you guys. Just I feel like leaving this behind because I was like on top, like leaving all that behind. Clarify the temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Thank you. The Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, <laughs> I mean, okay, so um, paired with temperance, you guys, somebody probably can be trying to come back around. Um, towards you for some of you guys <laughs> come back around and try to talk to you again for others you are um you're probably in this energy right now of healing like right now you're probably healing from this drama and moving your way through all right but the knight of swords is about um or this uh, or moving forward some of you guys could be moving forward or somebody could be coming to you a uh, air sign you know wanting to help heal you or join you on your path <laughs> Um, because somebody was feeling left out in the cold. Somebody was feeling alone. <sighs> Sad, probably depressed, you know, feel like they didn't have enough. Somebody probably felt like they weren't enough in this situation. Why is the hangman here? I don't want to take that because I didn't get to fully ask. But three of pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, working, I hear. <laughs> Money and business. <laughs> the sun card the, this could represent leo energy happiness all right yeah some of you guys you're healing your inner child or you're healing from the situation even if you weren't the cause of it or if, vice versa take it how it fit you guys because it's general but you know healing yourself going after your happiness and yes whatever this was it was meant for you to come out of negativity all right and then some of you guys, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio at the body, some of you guys might have a love offering com coming to you, a new one, or somebody from your past. <laughs> yeah, also some of you guys, be careful. Let me clarify some of these cards. <laughs> they will move forward, you guys. Okay, I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> so, excuse me, but I have to take this off. Because I am getting truly hot right now. And I did not want to have to stop this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting extremely hot. At first it was cold, okay? Excuse me, you guys. Alright, let's clarify these cards. Because we got too many people. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll clarify them all. Clarify the High Priestess knowing about the Five of Swords. Clarify the High Priestess, knowing about the Five of Swords. Ooh, yeah, it could have been third party. Three of Cups, the Devil, or some, ooh, Queen of Cups. Ooh, yeah, somebody was being, uh, somebody could have been sneaking around with other people, putting you as a second choice. Again, somebody could have had either a third party or somebody just giving their attention away to other people and not you, and that's causing conflict. Family, friends, you know. Um, having something to say, like if you're in a situation or relationship with somebody or in your business, like somebody else was trying to influence or like speak on something that didn't belong to them, you guys, okay? Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the hangman, again, the hangman, again, Pisces. For some of you guys, you knew this was a part of your, your path. This was a part of your growth, okay? This could have been with business because of three of coins. 
is about money, okay? And if it was about a person, after you was enlightened about this drama, you walked away, you want to go work on your money, okay? Okay, let's clarify. Why do we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here? Why do we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here? Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, you guys might have a kid. Oh, my God. Some of you guys may have a kid or there's some type of communication that needs to be that needs to be said between the king and queen of pentacles somebody needs to communicate something all right maybe there's no talking right now and there needs to be i didn't get to ask somebody's gonna have to make a decision regarding the empress somebody could be pregnant you guys this is just what i'm reading <laughs> okay it may or may not resonate this sounds this may resonate for a very few okay <laughs> Clarify the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands came out again. The Star, the Three of Cups. You guys, this person could have been a third party. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, in the Star card. And maybe this is the person who is... That's um, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys, somebody complete the cycle. Somebody here was, this Queen of Wands was the person that I feel like probably the King of Cups could have been after. You know, thinking this was a wish fulfillment. And it wasn't. <laughs> Clarify the tower. Why do we have the tower? Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Oh, what the Ten Ten of Cups, Ten Ten. Some of you guys see Angel Number Ten Ten. All right, ending and the beginning. So yeah, you guys, this is regarding a love. Somebody, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is showing up really heavy right now. Somebody was hurt. Somebody got hurt, stabbed in the back. You guys, until they couldn't feel pain anymore. Some, so it's like, you know, trying to have your eyes closed, like, ugh, like, why do I feel this? Like, I feel like that type of energy, like, why do I feel this? You know? Then the Ace of Cups. Wanting love. This could have been somebody that you were pro possibly emotionally satisfied with. Somebody, they messed it up. They hurt you. And I feel like almost everybody got hurt because it's justice is in here. So everybody ended up getting hurt. And let me show you again because the Queen of Wands clarified the Queen of Wands again. Yo, this situation, I haven't did, done a reading like this, but this is like a story and it's going to resonate with a handful of people. So, and if this does, you guys let me know because this is like a really deep reading. Clarify the justice. Wait. Look at the King of Pentacles coming out again. King of Swords again. Five of Swords. Somebody probably got into an argument. <laughs> I feel like I gotta take this now. Um, again, the King of Coins came out and the King of Swords and the Five of Swords, which is your overall energy, which is paired with Justice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, double Libra for some of you guys. Some <laughs> somebody got into an argument with um with somebody else. It was during, about communication about this drama. So I feel like some type of confrontation happened, or somebody found something out. You guys, yeah. Somebody walks away. Let me get one though to clarify justice. Some some of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why so many cards? Somebody's trying to come back around. Somebody feels their karma. Clarify justice. Thank you. The will. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Things balancing out. Also, you guys, if you were done wrong, things will be um, working out in your favor. 
All right, I like that. That's good fortune as well. Oh, good karma. Oh, good karma coming around. All right, we're letting that go. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, we're letting that go for a cuss, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sag at the bottom. You're waiting for something better now. This was a lot, you guys. This I put like probably like I got probably like 20 cards out. It feels like probably not that much, but like it's a lot. Like this was a, like a heavy situation. Like doing this reading for me feels like like it was just so much. Like too much to it. All right, now you're waiting. You're moving forward, and you're waiting for something better to come along, a better offer, you guys. You will wait. Again, we're being patient here. And some of you guys may be a little bit defensive and on guard, but that's a part of the process. You guys, I wouldn't sit there and tell you not to be like, you're just being aware, okay? Moving forward. And you guys, I feel like you will be getting this cut. Like, it's shiny. Some of you guys got to offer an opportunity coming to you. Yeah. I like it. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Why do we have the Knight of Swords? Thank you. Ooh, the devil. And it's paired with the Temperance and the um, Knight of Swords, so Capricorn. All right. <laughs> um, I get this, okay? And clarify the devil one more time. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Priestess. Look at what come up. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Coins. So, you guys, somebody might try to come back around the king of pentacles somebody here is toxic so i have to tell you to be careful okay somebody here and they're showing up here too in the past <laughs> somebody from your past may be trying to come back in but you already know you already know who they are you know how they operate so, and you see through people, you see through their BS, you see through their drama, through their lies. So the thing is, is that even if they try to come back, somebody from your past, you guys, you can see through them, you know what to do. The high priestess knows, and that's your overall energy. I mean, try to come around and um, talk to you, apologize, or clear things up. Clarify the sun card. This, oh, I'll take them all. Ace of coins at the bottom, you guys. Towards Virgo Capricorn, getting the resources you need. Yeah, somebody's coming back around. So I feel like somebody, somebody from the past is coming back around. I feel like somebody from the past is coming back around. All right, let me know. So clarifying the sun and the hangman, we got the five of coins towards Virgo Capricorn. So this was being enlightened to the fact, you know, yeah. You were lonely. Somebody left you out, okay? You weren't, or they weren't treating you like the sunshine that you are, okay? They weren't giving you the fair, justice, balance that you deserved, okay? Maybe you were putting a lot into them and they weren't giving you a lot. And that's why things have to be taken away, all right? Some of you guys um, could be single now. Nine of Coins comes out when people are single. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of Earth energy, getting grounded, getting stable. So you guys could be single now, loving yourself now, being abundant. If you're still in a relationship, <laughs> try to love yourself. <laughs> well, so you can be able to still love your partner. Okay, do, depending on yourself for happiness. Okay, angels, they're like going... Like, my hearing is going in and out of my ears right now. Like, psh, psh, psh. like something needs to can be be communicated. <clears throat> somebody's going to need to speak up. So, I feel like that's why somebody's coming back around. Somebody needs to say something, apologize or admit something or tell the truth. But it's coming to you because it's, it's justice is on your side. Somebody could be single now. All right, the sun clarifying the sun <laughs> could be Leo energy. All right, again, going after your happiness, loving yourself. And then the chariot, that was in your past, now it's in your future, like, moving forward, okay? <laughs> Cancer energy, getting balance, going after, moving forward. Some of you guys could be moving in the near future, you know, traveling or, you know, going on vacation, like, however it is, but getting away from all this. All right, yeah, because people were um, five of wands and a five of swords. What? Yeah, so, yeah, there was a lot of drama. 
<sighs> okay, well, that's enough for that. But let's move forward. <laughs> let's pull from my love cards, and then we'll get a time frame, you guys. Let's see what we get. Mm. This is a whole situation. Like, dang. <sighs> so, if you've been going through it, the drama, I didn't get to ask the question, but let's just see what they say. Mm. I'm going to read them because I feel like I need to. It says, Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition, separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning of unsure future, soulmates. Uh, some of you guys, again, were soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Some of you guys could have known this person from the past life. All right, and in this lifetime, that's probably why they come back around because y'all just, just attracted to each other. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. Somebody might want to come back around, have coffee, have a drink with you, and talk. You know, about being friends. How can we grow? How can we build again? If if that resonates, <sighs> yeah. But somebody, <laughs> somebody was stabbing me back. Come on now, now they want to come back around. I don't know. Let's give one card. Thank you. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Okay. Manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. All right, this is about loving yourself as well. Let's get a time frame. I'm sorry, I gotta sit back because I gotta shuffle these, you guys. Because there's so many cards that if I do that, it's gonna, they're gonna fly. So let's get a time frame for the collective. When should we see the situation moving forward? Give us a time frame. We do have a lot of forward movement. We got the chariot. <laughs> so let's get one card. One card for a time frame. Thank you. Thank you. Some of you guys are seeing angel numbers. 33. Ah, this came out last time. Number six. Harmony. Six days, six weeks, six months. But a lot flew out on top of it, so I can't take it. Um, so again, coming into union. Woo! <laughs> spiritual union number two <laughs> all right i'm feeling it all right two two days two weeks two months yeah somebody can be coming to you in two days talking um because we got a lot of forward movement wasting no time somebody probably trying to come back into union being with you <laughs> so you guys mean you meet somebody new and come into union with them I like it. Okay, I knew it. Yeah, because somebody was feeling emotional loss and somebody's heart was hurting, okay? Feeling alone. Feeling like they couldn't get balanced. Feeling like they lost something. I feel like they lost you, okay? Trying to be patient again. But I feel like somebody can be patient. So if somebody's been holding back, somebody's, <laughs> somebody's coming forward <laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> Quick in a hurry. They went from the page to the night. Oh, I just saw that. Page of swords in your past. Knight of swords in your present. So somebody's coming. <laughs> Quickly. And your time frame is two. So two days, two weeks, two months. Shadow work. Okay, healing ourselves. Knowing that we are protected along our journey. Let's, let's pull from my moon cards. You guys, the moon is out. I know I've been manifesting. You guys, look at that moon. Write down your intentions on some paper, what you want to manifest to come to life for you. Go outside, you guys. Y'all, when I this is my first Oracle deck, and I told you I was in Vegas. I drove to Sunset Park. If you know where that's at, I saged these. I laid them out on the floor. I did the whole ritual, you guys. Like, you guys, it's so cool. Like, you just feel so, so in touch like you feel connected with the universe so if you're interested you know try it oh what was that i feel like that meant something <laughs> it was quick like quick and like in a hurry claire let's go let's get for let's pull for my moon cards so what i do let's what oh yep <laughs> I'll do another shuffle around. I feel like something might look. Oh, the masculine. Pa
power at the bottom. What did I say? <laughs> okay, I'm feeling this now. We're getting to some good energy, okay? Powerful. You are power. You can manifest. You can have anything you want. You may be spiritually powerful. Look, the masculine. Didn't I say I'm talking to my masculine? Divine. Or if you're a fem female, you are in your power of your divine masculine, which means you're taking action. If you're a male, you are the male that's taking action, okay? <laughs> um, really? That's good. Thank you for commenting. I'm glad it resonated. Mm-hmm. Look. <sighs> yeah. Oh, is that why we had the pages <laughs> When I said a kid, <laughs> oh, if this resonated, then man, because I was like, I don't know who this could resonate for. But look, the masculine in his power, again, male or female, just taking action. Like, again, that's why you got the chariot and the swords, taking action, moving forward. Some of you, again, I feel like these are connecting. You see the masculine, he's looking at this girl and this boy, and I feel like it's him. And he sees a vision, right? And he wants that, like. <laughs> but we'll pull some more. So the masculine is like one of the most powerful cards too. Like believe it or not, it's like the last card. It's like the most powerful one in this deck. And it talks about um, and and this is I don't know why I'm getting so spiritual. Uh, whenever I think about this card, I think <laughs> spiritual. Like you see your path, you know where you need to go, you know where happiness is. You know how to set a plan to get there. You know how to plan it out, how to do it, and then actually take an action in doing it. It's the lunar god, you guys. This is the lunar god. It's the masculine. Like, he's in his power. That's probably why I got the king of cups, like I said, okay? Last time I was talking to my divine feminine, but this time it's masculine. The masculine's been going through something. <laughs> we need to have faith. Look, realization. Look, okay? Spiritual awakening. That's why you got the hey man twice. Okay. <laughs> Number three, realizing where you need to be, who you are, what to do. Okay. I'll stop there. Yeah, look, power again. Being powerful and acting like it, y'all. Being patient, releasing what no longer serves you, co creating to your path to a new beginning. Okay. I'm feeling that. Like, that feels good. That feels like better energy. <laughs> way better than the past like i don't know what was what was happening just karma you guys in the past like things you needed to learn okay yeah i don't know when you tuned in but i did say that so because the qu king and queen of pentacles popped up and then when i clarified it when i clarified it <laughs> when i clarified it the page of swords and i was like okay kid because when you have counterparts and the page is the youngest card in the deck or somebody or it's, or it's communication you know, a young communication, not really known, but trying. <laughs> Let's pull up for my light cards, okay? If you like to help people. Ah, transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing, you guys. What do we say? Healing yourself. And on top of that. Your guidance is divinely guided. Everything's been happening for a reason. So you can transform. So you can grow spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, like on every level. Is it 12 o'clock? Let me check. Oh, I can't check. Either way, you guys, that's growing. Like, again, in your power, like, somebody is just, like, really spiritually, like, leveling up. Like, I feel like this is a lot of spiritual growth, you guys like a lot of spiritual growth a lot of understanding a lot of understanding i love it it's like somebody has it's growth grown all right let's pull for my spirit animal let's get a spirit animal thank you thank you ancestors Ha, what did I say? These are just clarifying. Okay. Bison, you guys. Spirit animal. It says abundance, which you already got right here. All right, which was dealing with love, and it was actually talking about loving yourself. It says abundance, success, and personal power. You are being guided to be flexible. Go with the flow. 
and allow things to happen rather than force them. Universal opportunities are stacked around you. Center yourself and resonate with your core values and you will reap many rewards. What did I say? Yeah. I like it. Let's pull up positive affirmation. A positive confidence. Okay. Divine masculine, <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> or my females, <laughs> what actions are you taking? Let's get a positive affirmation that we need to know for the collective. Why do you want to flip out sideways? Desire. Mm, somebody has a lot of desire. I'm not going to speak. Or I wanted to say something else. <laughs> but that would be smart and it would not be fair. So... <laughs> Fire and desire, y'all. Get one card. Being passionate, you know. Balance. Thank you. The bottom relationships. Okay. I am surrounded by relationships of love, harmony, balance, abundance, and much more. That's all we are accepting. That's why you got the four of cups. Balance is your card. It's very important. Your whole life needs to be balanced. Your love life, your your relationship with yourself, your the, how the way you make your money, so your job, your you know your business. However, you know friends, other family members. Like it has to be balanced all across. You guys, like you need to make sure you're addressing every part of your life and yourself. Most importantly, and I feel like you are. I have countless opportunities each day to create balance, joy, and freedom within my life. Right, so you know you need to be balanced. That's why we got the King of Cups. All right, I love it. Somebody's in tune with themselves. You know, I love it. Somebody's growing, or you have grown. I feel like you're. We're always growing. That's the thing. So yeah, it's still growing. Just leveling up, like Sierra said. You guys, let's pull a message from the angels. Angels, what do what message do we have? Thank you. Oh, that's a lot. Thank you. That's a lot. At the bottom, pay yourself first, okay? Self-care. I'll read them all. I'll read them all because they usually don't even come out like this. But again, angels. Remember I said that angels are cut? Look, that's why you probably got so many angel cards. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I'll read from here, I guess. The first one you got is raise a promotion. Congratulations. You've been looking for some news about your money? Some of you guys have been working on your money. So guess what? It's coming in more. Your own business, your own job, getting more money. It says, congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Yo, I'm so happy for you. Like, I'm getting so hyped. I gotta calm all the way down. Because <laughs> I'll start screaming on this live. Not screaming, but yelling. And, <laughs> like, and then I see the sun. Like, you guys, this is gonna make you happy. Like, this opportunity is gonna make you happy. Like, and I'm like, the universe is looking at you like, <laughs> you don't even know what we got for you. Like, you don't even know. Because you've been working, and now it's time for you to reap the rewards, Okay successful funding it says again so, uh, i'm feeling this god <laughs> it says your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of god that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you he took a partnership in here. Look, you get it. Some of you guys, if you're struggling with money or you're wanting to do your own thing, keep working. Okay, it's coming into you. I just feel like it's coming into you. Just don't give up. If you know it's for you, don't give up. Because it's actually coming to you. So, and then they wanted to let you know to eat healthy. <laughs> Clean energy food, you guys. Your angels is letting you know. Okay, they said, when you fill your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Okay, 
Because in the past, you've attracted toxic relationships, toxic people, you know? And they're telling you, you know, it, it get, food does contribute. So, um, eat healthy, you guys. Work out. Um, I know, like, I don't eat meat, but you guys just try to, if, like, if you really want some clarity, like, this is about spiritual growth. See, that's a game, especially if you play video games. Especially my men who be playing video games, y'all. Y'all should, y'all should be taking yourself as a video game. Picture y'all, like, just allow yourself to be the avatar, okay? And take it that serious, okay? And I said serious because I know y'all be taking y'all game serious. Take it serious, okay? Like, take yourself, take yourself serious. Be, like, be hard on yourself, like, <laughs> have discipline, keep trying, keep working on your, your eating habits, okay? Like, I feel like that. So, if you've been going back and forth with trying to eat healthy or not, like, you need to discipline yourself and eat healthy. Because <laughs> that's what brings in abundance flow easier and quicker. So, if you've been, been, pa if you've been patient, guess what? This will help. Because you can't be eating all that unhealthy food. And then thinking your vibration is going to rise and you're going to get some type of clarity. No. Like food, food from the government like that is made to keep you asleep, okay? You need your pineal gland open, your third eye open. And your food is definitely affecting that for some of you guys. You can look into that or you can reach out to me about that. It says focus on your priorities. All right? That's what they want you to know. Where you put your focus. See, this is why they need you to eat healthy because your your focus, okay? Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more efficient. So if you have a responsibility and love, um, your career, yourself, or your business, you know, you know you need to do this, and some of you guys, you may get anxiety, you may, like, start to feel down, <laughs> and I get this feeling all the time myself, like, if I'm not doing a video, <laughs> like, I, I don't feel good, like, something in my mind, like, I don't feel good, like, I get anxiety, I feel like I'm not completing, sorry, I'm not completing what I need to be doing, you guys, <laughs> and that causes anxiety, you know, that causes, and then when you get anxiety, that stops your abundance flow, that stops all your good fortune coming it stops it from coming into you if you block it you put it on a pause not saying it's gone but you put it on pause <laughs> and so they want you to pay attention because when you even five minutes out of your day makes a difference is what they're saying partnership Woo! <laughs> got those hands okay partnership <laughs> allow healthful allow helpful None of that negative. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You're receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources, you guys. So, again, come into partnership with people who, are, who support you, who have your best intentions always, okay? People who, who are on your level, spiritually, Especially spiritually, guys. If I smile your lover spiritually, everything else falls, falls into place, okay? Um, mature people, you guys, like, people who who understand, like yourself. So you need people kind of like, if you are you know you're a good person, you need people who just, not only like just like you, but in your field, okay? And the last thing I want you to know is deservingness. <sighs> One of my favorites. <laughs> it says... You are a beloved child of God like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Okay? So nobody in this world can see who you truly are, but you know it, and you feel it, and you know who you are, and what you bring to the table. That's all that matters, because God sees it. Universe, your angels, your ancestors, they see it. That's why they push you, try to put you in a better place. Like, everybody deserves love, like, happiness. Like, regardless of the, our mistakes in the past, some people, some of you guys may get headaches. I don't know why I'm getting a headache right now, or I'm speaking truth. <laughs> 
you guys like regardless of our past mistakes and the things that we've done we've done and you know we still deserve happiness we still deserve love just like the next person okay like don't even worry you still deserve your good fortune your good karma your money you know your home if you want it whatever you want you deserve it like god knows that you are somebody the universe your angels your ancestors they know you're somebody and you know this so you know it act like it show it put it into action make show you, you don't need to make people respect you you respect yourself and you do what you need to do and they will just not they will naturally respect you the ones that do and don't like you you feel me? <laughs> you feel me like that? <laughs> let's pull one for my sleep cards. Okay, if you have trouble sleeping, let's pull one. <laughs> okay, amen. Like, everybody deserves some type of happiness, okay? Regardless of the past. And I feel like your angels, your ancestors, like, they see you. Like, <laughs> like somebody in heaven probably is watching over you. If somebody has passed, you guys, I feel like that just won't, I feel like I needed to say that now. Because <sighs> it's coming out too strong. Somebody, I feel like somebody wants to say something. Not that I speak, you know. If it comes out, I will say it. If I speak on it again, I will say it. Thank you. But, you know, you are an amazing person. You are a light. You are the sun. You deserve what you want. You deserve your heart's desires. Give me one sleep card. What advice can they? What advice can we give to the for the collective to help them sleep at night? Ah, ah. <laughs> I love it. I'm getting hyped. Like this is beautiful energy. It says all the best at the bottom. Everything is as it should be. It's all for the best. I can rest. Ah, I love this one too. Okay. Like, I'm feeling so good, you guys. <laughs> it says, worry away. Worry away. What? <laughs> it says, oh, yeah. I will be still in my journal. So, you know. It says, grab a pen and some paper. Write a list. Then I say the moon. Manifest. Go do this. Go manifest. I wrote down tonight what I want to manifest. And for the next few days, because there's going to be a full moon. So do it. If you have a vision... You guys go do it. It says grab a pen and some paper. Write a list of all the things you worry about. Give yourself permission to be worried about them for one minute. After the minute has passed, you can no longer think about them. They have had their time. It's good to let even the scariest thoughts out into the open so they don't haunt you in your sleep. I am worry free. Okay, that will help you sleep. Ah. <laughs> namaste, namaste, namaste. Like... <laughs> I don't ever act this way, but yo, this energy feels amazing. <laughs> it feels amazing. <laughs> like, it changed my whole energy, because before I got on this reading, if you saw me, like, I was, like, down, but this was amazing. <laughs> it makes me laugh. It makes me feel good. Like, we, we're coming into a better time, I wrote that. Whoa, look, you guys, just because I, you think I'm playing, I wrote this down, so I... I right horrible but it says <laughs> happiness is coming very soon very soon smiley face that's what i wrote before i did this reading and it's coming like i feel like that's why i'm so happy <sighs> look you guys write down what it is that i love this because i do it too this is where you, I, I call it a confession okay people say don't think about negative things because they manifest Yes, that's true, but you also need to confess and address what's actually scaring you as well, all right? So you can let that fear go, and that's one of the things that I actually do. So, yeah, I might have a fear, right? Um, I might be stressing about something, probably, so, for example, if I'm stressing about a situation from the past or it comes up in my head, you know, or if I'm going through something... And I'm just like, it's. I know it's something that I'm worried about. I'll take it on a piece of paper. If I'm scared or afraid, I'll write down those fears, okay? And I'll think about it. Excuse me. I'll think about it. I might write them, and then I'll write them, and then, um, sorry, I'll write them down, I'll think about it, I'll see why it makes me feel that way, and then I'll, if I need to cry, you guys, I, I don't mind crying, I'll cry in a heartbeat, <laughs> I'll cry, I'll get, I'll get angry, I'll get sad, I'll cry, I mean, I'll laugh, you know, whatever I need to do, 
let that worry go away and then after that you know tell yourself like i've addressed this what's next because that's all it is <laughs> it's only a thought that's trying to stay with you and it's like you know you have to truly know that everything is okay that you are supported like the universe supports you god your angels your ancestors like they're there okay so um write down so it's good to admit your fears you guys write them down and then some of you guys may have sleep paralysis, okay? If you do, write them down, all right? <sighs> I love you guys. <laughs> this is a beautiful read. I usually do a recap, but it was too much. <laughs> Again, you guys support, like, subscribe my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram. You guys truly, truly appreciate it. Book a full reading for 25, mini reading for 15. I will see you guys until next time. Namaste and keep moving forward. Bye, you guys.